Welcome to my video which is all about what's on my writing desk. I did a video a few years ago now and I shared what's on my desk, where you could get it from and all that sort of thing and I had a request last year when I was doing Vlogmas 2022 to do a repeat but with what's on my desk at the moment. So I thought I would do it now and share the sorts of things that I like to have on my desk to keep things cosy, to keep me inspired, to keep me productive for my writing. I think personally I like to have things around me that make me feel good, that are colourful perhaps. I like a lot of orange, I like a lot of green. I've recently um, put some blue in because of this Cornish wear, but I do have a lot of orange or, or kind of a brownie kind of orange. It just gives me a lot of joy, that colour. It goes without saying that I have a computer on my desk and the one that I use is a Mac and I also have the keyboard and a trackpad. The trackpad has my initials on it and is from Aspinalls of London. You can see there on the back. I got it for my birthday present last year, but I asked for it because my desk is an old wooden kitchen table. Um, if I just show you down here, you can see the legs. So it's an old wooden kitchen table. That's my dog's toy. It's not a dead rabbit, <laughs> I promise. And some of it can be a little bit wobbly at times. So I went for a sturdy mouse mat that would cover up any wobbles or sort of ripples in the wood of the desk. So that's why I went for this nice, I think it's leather from Aspinalls of London and it's brilliant. My trackpad doesn't rock at all. It stays in the same place and I, I just really, really like it. I couldn't do without it now. Now, let's talk about this, my coffee mug, because that's going to be empty in a minute. This is an espresso mug that I got from for Christmas and it is Cornish ware. I love Cornish ware. I just love this mug. It's my absolute favourite mug. And I think I'm going to see if they do it in different colours, like red and green, because Cornish ware, originally blue, has now started to come out in lots of different colours. And you can see just here that I have also have a jug in Cornish ware. I don't know if they still do this jug, but I do know Katie told me yesterday on Instagram, they do a kind of lighthouse shape vase in the blue. And I think it's also in the red and the green as well. So I'm going to look into getting one of those for my desk. 
Speaking of lighthouses, I bought this on a whim some months ago when my son was off to university, or we thought he was off to university, and I was buying him stuff for his accommodation and I saw this lighthouse light and I knew I just had to have it. Now the thing is, lighthouses I just think are great imagery for 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 my writing i strongly believe that as a writer i'm not chasing numbers rather i'm shining my light out and guiding people towards me um that might sound a little bit twee but i i just really love the lighthouse imagery so i knew i needed to get that i will look up online to see if the shops still sell it i'll put all the details in the description box for anybody who is interested and like i say whether they still sell it or you can get it online somewhere okay you will also notice that i've got dotted around bits of orange so I have this little pot here and this I got from HomeSense which is a Le Creuset so you don't need to get it from HomeSense but it was just there in HomeSense um, it's probably a ramekin but I thought it was quite nice for my desk another little useful pot I have on my desk which is full of post-its is this little Hovis bread tin. My husband bought me this a number of years ago and I will search out to see if they still have something similar. And that writing is in reverse, by the way. It's not my camera. Presumably, so your loaf comes out the right way round. Perfect for storing my post-it notes. Then another recent addition is this mug it says go away i'm reading and it's heavily based on the original ones by penguin books which i use to keep my pencils in and have done this for many many years many of my photographs on instagram if you scroll back far enough you will see that mug features heavily. Now, you may have noticed that I very much like little houses. This one, I think I got this one first. This was basically from a garden centre. Um, so I've. it doesn't even say who it's by underneath. I've looked it up before and couldn't find it. So that was just a lucky find in a garden centre. But this one is from... Graham and Green and I'll put the the link in below you can get a number of varieties different colors I hope they still sell them um, because I absolutely adore it um, very tempted to get another one they've got a taller one which I think would be quite nice to go on my desk obviously I also like to have a few plants I've bought myself some tulips um i don't normally have flowers in water on my desk this is the first time i've done it in a very long time but i actually really like it i think i might make this a regular thing then i have various candles this one is called a night at the library and this is by y r studio i think her name's adriana um, apologies if I've got that wrong, but she has a YouTube channel as well. I found her via TikTok, so she's very heavily on TikTok and she sells her candles. This one, which is possibly my favourite, is by Our Lovely Goods and is called The Old Library. Our Lovely Goods are temporarily closed while they relocate. Um, but hopefully it will be back up and running in uh, later this year. But this is a, a lovely, lovely candle. This one is called Writer's Desk and it smells of sweet black coffee. And this is by Midsummer Child. And then I have an hourglass, except it's not an hour. I can't remember if it's 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Again, I bought this online from a brilliant stationery store um, and I will put their details in the 
in the description box below. And I use that for writing sprints. So when I need to concentrate, but I can't quite sit down and start writing, I turn that over and say, I just have to write for the length of time that the sand moves into the other side of the hourglass. I've talked about this book, this notebook, which is by Choosing Keeping in my video about my what's in my bag video that I did a week or so ago. And this is an absolutely stunning notebook. It's currently sitting on my desk waiting to be used. You can also see over there, I've got the A4 version, again, from Choosing Keeping in London. And that is over there because that's where I was sitting to do my brainstorming, which is what I'm using it for. I've also got this notebook and this is a perfectly penned notebook. It's a dotted notebook. I've shared this notebook many times before, but I use this for my tasks that I have to complete and I use it to plan out my months, weeks and days. So that's there waiting to be used. I've not yet done anything like that this January because I've still not decided what my goals are just yet. And I also have... I mean, I've just taken this out of my, my house handbag, but I would also have my writing notebook sitting there, again, by Perfectly Penned. And I have my weekly and monthly planner for 2023. And this I, I got off Amazon. And it says it's by Boo Cool. It's the same as the Le Monde journal that I have this I use for my personal dates and everything. That's what it looks like. It's a week to a double page spread. So that's all my, pretty much my essentials. When I say essentials, I mean my decorative essentials as well as some practical essentials. Oh, speaking of practical essentials, the other thing that I have on my desk is this iPhone or iPad stand by Desire 2. And this is what I use if I'm doing vertical or horizontal videos. I don't use a special, I've got one, but I don't use a special overhead tripod arm thing all the time. I sometimes use that as well. And that way I get a steady shot. So, like I said, I will put all the details below of everything that I use and have on my desk. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye.